welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are all safe at home with your families. And please, 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 please continue practicing good hygiene. My name is Posh. And I'm very, very, very excited to have finally started this because I have been procrastinating for the longest time. So just to break the ice, I decided I should just share my tips and tricks when it comes to condros. I mean, how do you get those perfectly done knit condros? Now, I have three tips to live by. <laughs> And I believe they will change your life when it comes to condros, especially when you're a beginner. So the first thing that you need to do is um, when you start parting your lines, you must start parting them from the middle so that you can have two halves to work with instead of like going ear to ear. This will help you avoid those slanted lines. And then you'll have like nice, neat, straight back lines. Yeah. The second important thing that you have to do is make sure that there's consistency in your feeding method. Now, this one's going to be <laughs> a hard one for me to explain because, wow, I suck at explaining. But let me try. What this means is um, we are working with three strands when we do condros. And as we go, we are adding hair into those three strands, right? So it's always wise for you to feed those three strands with smaller portions of hair instead of like big chunks of hair. This way your lines will go all the way to the back nicely instead of like um, ending halfway your head. The nice thing about this trick is that it applies in every direction you might want to control, really. Like, be it straight up or laminate or straight front, <laughs> if people do that. Yeah. And then our last important trick that I'm going to share that will change your whole braiding experience is parting lines for straight there's two major parts of the head when it comes to doing hair. The back and the top, obviously. The back part of the head has smaller hair compared to the top part. So it's always wise for you to... Um, uh, what's the word? To make sure that your line gets slim at the back so that... All your line, all the lines that are coming from the top fit nicely and perfectly at the back. Because if you don't, you're going to run out of space and then you're going to have like lines that are halfway. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. And yeah, that's just about Please it. Please do enjoy the rest of the video and thank you so much for watching. I hope the video was informative and helpful to you guys. Um, please do like and subscribe and share with those who might find this video helpful as well. And yeah, thank you so much.